Friends and family from around the world, this is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on April 13th, 2025. Welcome to another Sabotmic Day on the Planet, and welcome to The Daily Do, giving you an interesting space weather update today. We had the one plasma filament yesterday Earth-facing, and it did produce a coronal mass ejection, but yet another one has now snapped from the southern surface of our sun. We've seen them swirling and leaping from the northern regions. We're just kind of waiting for these to happen. And they did. Two plasma filaments let loose, both Earth-facing. One of the coronal mass ejection models are already in to the prediction. But we're going to have another one coming. So our next solar storm is expected. May 16th, or sorry, April 16th into the 17th. From two large plasma filament eruptions, our sun is still firing away multiple C-class solar flares and moderate M-class solar flares from five sunspot regions. Most of the activity has been outgoing. Having a look at multi-spectrum, amazing images here brought to you by Solar Dynamics Observatory, mixed with daily events worldwide. And thank you so much for pressing play, being a part of all this information shared, keeping humanity aware and prepared. So two large plasma filaments, two coronal mass, mass ejections, I'm sure, are coming our way. One has already been put into the model. And that is a look at our sun at multi-spectrum. During solar cycle 25, a solar maximum, which has already reached its peak. Currently, we have five Earth-facing sunspots. There are the active sunspot regions. Most active, as I said, turning away, which is on the right-hand side. But there's been activity on our sun during a point where we had over 13 sunspots just a couple of weeks ago. That's on the back side of the sun right now. Having a look at Alaska too, still, we had that sun-diving comet come into the sun, into its atmosphere anyway. And then literally, coronal mass ejection almost right thereafter. Plasma filament that erupted did produce a halo CME, which is Earth-facing and it completely covers the disk right there. That was the halo CME. Lasco 2 here. A wide spectrum, you can see how large that coronal mass ejection was. Boom. Big CME on its way. And here it is with the Space Weather Prediction Center ejecting from the sun on the 13th and arriving late on the 15th of April into the 16th. And again, there's another CME that will be put into these models and that might even move it faster towards our planet, which is the little green circle there on the right-hand side of the yellow fiery sun. Tonight's Aurora forecast and tomorrow's a little more prevalent tonight. Watch for everything to change over the next couple days. Now, I did put out an earthquake watch video yesterday and boom, we had a 6.2 Fiji. We also had a pretty large earthquake, Kuril Islands. Let's start out here with a 6.5 that rocked Fiji Islands, 271 kilometer depth, no tsunami but pretty deep for the region. Around the same time, a 5.9 earthquake hit Curl Islands, 382 kilometer depth, another very deep earthquake for the region. 5.8 shaker here in Rasht, Tajikistan, 12 kilometer depth. South America seeing seismicity into the Nazca Plate, 5.1, 5.2 there, South Sandwich Islands, 5.0 here, Costa Rica. Heads up, Pacific Plate into the northeast. Pacific Northeast. Alaska, increasing seismicity there. Juan de Fuca Plate. These deep earthquakes that we just saw. Fiji and Curl Islands waiting for a trifecta to hit the Juan de Fuca. This is a look at the last seven days for shakers and movers around the world. It's 
been an active week. And each time I forecast large earthquakes, literally within the 24 to 48 hour time period, we get hit. Much love, everybody. I'm here for you. And I thank you all for being here for me. Thanks for watching tonight. Hope you enjoyed the show. For the full weather and air quality, check out last night's update. Stay aware, prepared, stay young and have fun, and get your daily due. Bye-bye now.